Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is Jones reports for the 31st. And well, yesterday we saw from that move above the 50% uh, retrace to the 50 and a continuation up to the uh, 61% line there on the Morgan uh, was a solid continuation from the uh, DOC green leading. Uh, we did see an uptick of uh, short interest from the pretty complete uh, you know, retraction here below the 7.5. So that's what it's going to take to keep moving things up. Of course, as we get to the beginning of next month, you'll have new fund money coming in, particularly after the holiday. and A lot of excitement uh, will be uh, beginning the fall as everyone returns from their holidays. Uh, quite a move, uh, plus 50 here on the Magenta. So it gives us some breathing room even on a move back down. It's still uh, well above that uh, 33 range. So we should expect this to continue a little bit more from an NQ standpoint. Relatively the same, uh, looking almost identical. Uh, everything from shakeout then, of course, still marking those positive extremes. So we know where things will move back to when they do. Treasuries, obviously, we've seen that they caught a bit, maintained that. Uh, so there's still a lot of activity um, moving back into uh, treasuries. Obviously, the yield is definitely... Uh, attractive at this particular stage, uh, assuming we don't get too much of a move from oil and the fact that it's in this uh, upper middle range and now have been here for well the equivalent of a month, uh, definitely going to start to put uh, forward pressure on uh, price net uh, as we lead into uh, the fall season. And that'll be an interesting one, particularly in Europe, as we were talking about before. Euro continuing its uh, rally, and that was that uh, short cover uh, expectation given that uh, it was getting into danger zone right there. Um, pretty mediocre. Uh, it's right in the middle of the range, so I think they're fine from that aspect of it. Gold continuing its push now, reaching that 50% uh, marker. So uh, that ebb of uh, oil increasing is starting to uh, attract some attention, particularly in alternative spaces. Okay, that's lovely from a Bitcoin, but ETH, definitely right there. Bitcoin, um, right around the 27 range. I don't know why the chart decided to fade off, but ETH filling back in just a teeny fraction. And you could expect at least half that, uh, but it was never even a positive extreme. So overall, fairly decent uh, holding up with the market. From a 50K standpoint, you can see from that buy at the beginning of this turnaround move, continuing all the way up through there. So no issues with that whatsoever. Starting to get a uh, little potential softness, but as long as that steel is uh, uh, this far down, um, plenty of new money available, and it's not really putting any major pressure on it. Obviously, again, same situation with the positive extreme. Take it all the way back down to the fill of it, but uh, mostly throughout uh, all of the uh, positive extremes. So. That'll make it easy for determining the reach tests. Uh, here we had the post market right now is fairly flat, but at the start of the day, big up, big down, and then it just caught the big uh, bid once the market actual opened from the pre market and went right back to the peaks. We had some nice trade offs though. So again, the ranges continue to be there. Uh, you're just getting your classic, you know, ABC back up. Uh, to normal places. So all in all, um, markets handling everything pretty well. There isn't anything dire at this particular stage, but uh, there's certainly a lot of clouds on the horizon. And frankly, that tends to be more bullish than not because um, the fear of missing out uh, will certainly outweigh uh, as people get more defensive. It puts more money on the sidelines. So when you move to the upside, uh, really causes a little bit of a panic and people want to be drawn back into it, which is exactly how you get people to go too far in one direction and back down the other way. So as always, though, you can look for the update of um, indicators for September to be ready, and that'll be exciting as well. As always, though, trade well. We'll talk to you later.